So today is a great day. WWDC, if you don't know what that is, it's Worldwide Developer Conference. It's where Apple pretty much announces all the big stuff for the year, and it was crazy. Let me just say that I kind of got out of school to uh, cover the whole thing. But um, it's pretty cool. A lot of things were announced, so let's get down to it. So, Steve Jobs decided to get in more detail about the iPhone history, starting off with the iPhone in 2007, how the iPhone recreated phones. 2008, iPhone 3G and the App Store. iPhone 3GS in 2009 with double the speed of the 3G, coming with a lot of new cool features. And then he says 2010 is the biggest leap since the iPhone. So, the iPhone 4, that's what he's gonna call it. Awesome phone with over 100 new features, and in the keynote he only, you know, went over about 8. So the iPhone 4 has a very nice design. Glass on the front, glass on the back, made of stainless steel, it's really nice to the eye. You might have seen this design before, that's what he said, because you get it, Gizmodo. You don't get the joke. So the iPhone 4 is 9.3 millimeters. And it's 24% thinner than the 3GS. That, that's pretty amazing. This is the thinnest smartphone on the planet. On the iPhone 4, you get volume up, volume down, volume mute. You get the SIM card tray. You get the back camera with LED flash. And on the front, you finally get yourself a front-facing camera, which we'll go into more detail in a few. And the bottom has a mic, a 30-pin connector, and speakers. So the top has a headphone jack, sleep and wake button, and a second mic for noise cancellation. Here's the good thing, it's not just any ordinary display, it's a retina display. It comes out to 326 PPI. I said PP. So during WWDC, the keynote, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say for real, I actually found an audio stream when I was listening and I was following on a lot of websites, but this one funny thing happened and he was trying to show you um, New York Times and Safari and it wasn't loading. Now that's not because it's slow, it's because he's at like this huge place and everyone's on the Wi-Fi, so it's taking forever to load and he, Steve Jobs made a little joke, he's like, any suggestions, and then someone screamed out, use Verizon, best moment at WWDC. So the display is 960 by 640 so the retina display has 78% pixels of the iPad in the palm of your hand, which is pretty nice. Now here's another better thing that, you know, will help you with the iPhone. See right here, this is the iPad. This iPad, it's fast. Why is it fast? Because it has the A4 processor chip made right by Apple. Well, the iPhone is now getting the A4 chip, so speed. So with that, we're also going to get a bigger battery because the A4 chip is smaller than the, um, the chip we had before. So now, what does that mean? That means our bigger battery can handle more, right? That means 7 hours of talk time, 6 hours of 3G browsing, 10 hours of Wi-Fi browsing, 10 hours of video, 40 hours of music, 300 hours of standby. Now this is where the camera starts to get insane. Starts to talk about the camera, 5 megapixels, okay, cool. The camera app allows you to double tap and you can focus, cool. Now, this is where it gets crazy, really crazy. The iPhone camera records HD, 720p, 30 frames per second HD. In this little phone, HD. With this you get one click sharing. During the video, you can have your LED flash on, record, edit, and share HD right there on your iPhone 4. Even gets better. This is just a little bonus. You know that tap to focus thing? Yeah. That's macro. You can macro in HD on your iPhone. It's pretty insane. Not only are you getting an HD camera, you're getting an app for $5 that you might know on Mac. It's called iMovie. That's right, iMovie is now coming on over to iPhone for $5, so you can take all your HD videos that you just recorded, put them on in there, take songs from your iPod, well, your iPhone on your iPod, well, iPod on your iPhone, and put it right on into the video and make your own video and tap to share. It's pretty insane. And then they start talking about iAds, which when they talked about iAds, I just wanted to... Just saying. I don't really care about iAds, it's not that big of a deal. Now, this is near the end of the whole keynote, and this is where things start to get a little intense, because people are like, 
is the iPhone coming to Verizon? Now, here's the thing. Rumors galore. People like, it's coming to Verizon, it's coming to Verizon, it's coming to Verizon. A few days before keynote, it's not coming to Verizon. So, people were half and half, they didn't know what to think, and there was no mention of different carriers. All the carrier, well, all the demos had AT&T in the corner, so people just... And then, and then, something happened. Something big happened. Steve Jobs said, Oh, and one more thing. That's when stuff went down. Let me just say that everyone got silent. Everyone was shaking, including me. I know all the people I was watching live were like, Oh my god. People were just ready for this. But it was a big disappointment. We all thought they were going to say, Welcome to our new carrier. Verizon, but no, nope, they didn't. They ended up saying that front-facing camera you could use for video conferencing, which is cool. You need Wi-Fi. It's cool and all. Don't get me wrong, but I freaked out over nothing. I was like, it's actually happening. Oh my god, this is crazy. I was just about to tweet it out, and then he said, no, it's just, yeah, I don't care. Ah, oh, silly Apple. You need to get to Verizon. But it's going to come soon, that's what we said a while ago, but it's going to come soon. So now you can uh, re, you know, do this, face talk, and walk around, but what up, and just do whatever, and flip it around and do it again. It's pretty cool, uh, you can do a portrait, you can do a landscape, you can do it however you want. Still cool, but not what I expected. So, the iPhone 4 comes in black, and it comes in white. You can get the 16 gig for $199, and you can get the... 32 gig for $299, and the good thing about it is it comes out June 24th. It's pretty close, it's like two weeks, and pre orders start next week, June 15th. As always, the older iPhone, in this case the 3GS, is now going down in price $99. You go pick that up June 24th. That pretty much does it. You could have seen this live on the interwebs and seen me mess up like crazy, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we got Diamond Man and some other people here, so a lot of fun. See you guys next time.